it's nice to know we have a resident geek here. So, uh, web development is really, you know, the underlying layer of you know what's visible to the users. And it's good to know we have someone who's comfortable with Joomla. There are other. It's called the uh, CMS or Content Management System. Right? Uh, Facebook. Uh, what else? Friendster, if it's at all still popular. <coughs> they are content management systems. But more importantly, they are social networking sites. We know that social. What's what social really? But to give it a more um, respectable label, I'd like to look at social networking sites as, in our context, educational networking sites. So we don't just hang around, okay? It's like you know, kids would do, but we we hang around for a deeper purpose. Saya belum begitu familiar. Uh, jadi yang ingin saya tanyakan, yang ingin saya tanyakan mengenai spesialnya, mengenai obat obat, mengenai web 2.0 uh, tentang how, bagaimana untuk uh, memelihara buku-buku langka yang ada di institusi saya. Terima kasih. Okay, he, so she admits about her limited knowledge of Web 2.0 and then she raised the question of how to maintain, how to preserve uh, book collections in her library digitally, how to do that. Preservation. Preservation. saya di sini adalah bagaimana cara membangun karakter user yang bertanggung jawab terhadap konten Okay, the keyword is knowledge sharing, knowledge sharing, and then he stated that uh, knowledge will be useless unless it is shared. And the expectation, Okay, and he, he expects to be able to build responsible character of users so that they apply uh, something like certain responsibility of what they have retrieved and download it for example from the web. Uh, and from this train, uh, this workshop, I want to know how to publish the useful information, more interactive and interesting, make others want to know uh, our information. <laughs> so, if it's more, I'd like to, yeah, it's about it, publishing useful information. It's actually the, the, the opposite side of the dark side. So it's really the, the silver lining that we should be able to, to highlight here at the end of the day, which is actually good. Yeah. So, we have the benefit. I forget that I'm the participant of this training. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, similar with the other participants, uh, the keywords for our training is sharing of knowledge. In this case, local knowledge. And my expectation, I will expect to be able to uh, implement application of the 2.0 for my classroom activities, preparing material, delivering material, and making use of ICT technology in my classroom. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we take note of the fact that uh, there's a, some need for translation, almost like instantaneous, but we, have, we don't have the technology for that yet, but I'm hoping to be able to, in our lifetime, be able to see that happening so that while I'm speaking, perhaps a character generator will just uh, present it to you in your language. That's something I'd expect to, to be able to do, not after this workshop, but I hope uh, within the next five years. We're almost, we are, there are efforts um, in that direction. So we're using this platform among several platforms or applications slash or tools.
to share. So this one, um, it's called EDU 2.0. I've been using this for two years. It's, it's free because when you know here you hear the keyword free, you know, it's not something you run away from. So naturally, I, I, I used it, explored it, and I, I invite you to explore it for, for your own institutions. And this two-day training workshop will introduce participants to an appreciation of local knowledge in a global setting and will build a working knowledge of the basic digital tools and techniques in resources sharing with special focus on methodologies and tools for preserving and disseminating local knowledge. The workshop will include lectures, online digital resources, along with exercises and other interactive activities using Web 2.0, otherwise known as the social web. And like right now, we're using Web 2.0. This is the perspective of the teacher, by the way. something like 13 slides here. So I'm expecting um, when we publish the, uh, the online survey, we ask for your Gmail account. I'm not working for Gmail or Google, but you know, it really, it's a service that's free anyway. It has a lot of features and applications that to allow us to optimize or maximize sharing. I don't know how it looks like to you, but to me, it's nice to see something like that. Uh, this is different. I'd like to be able to go to a place like this. Uh, based on the environment, this is not tropical, so this is somewhere in Europe perhaps. That's a European perspective. This is Asian, right? I could be wrong, but this looks like Chinese. Um, yeah, my guess is it's Chinese, but you know, it could be yeah, Japanese. I really don't know, but I have my own local knowledge. So, yeah, you can figure that out. Oh, this is easy, yeah. Uh, Ternyata lolo knowledge itu sebetulnya kan sudah agak mulai berkembangnya itu istilah itu atau teknologi itu itu pada jasa warsa 80-an akhir berkembangnya pada 90 dan itu dari dokumen yang saya cari-cari untuk anda semua sebetulnya nanti saya bisa berikan pada anda itu ada dua dokumen yang saya pakai dari World Bank dan satu dari United Nations jadi berarti ada upaya-upaya untuk presentation dan juga sharing dari local knowledge tadi, LG using social networking concept and technology nah saya hanya bicara masalah yang di tengah sebetulnya yang LK itu loh jadi workshop ini tadi nanti bagaimana tentunya ada akan berdiskusi tentang presentation dan juga tentang sharingnya bagaimana lalu memakai alat yang tadi sudah didesain oleh teman-teman dari Miriam Polis alat untuk sosial networking. Jadi tugas saya sedikit ya bu, oh, cuma LK itu. Jadi ke, apa yang sebenarnya yang khusus-khusus di di di, di sekeliling anda itu? Maka pertanyaan tadi kan pertanyaan, who is your city, who is your town, who is your, your your community, who is your institution sexually? Karena kecamatan berbeda dengan Jakarta dan Mata yang di Jogja sini, beda juga dengan Berita Wacana. Tetapi kalau saya tak tanya sama orang-orang Berita Wacana, apa sebetulnya makna Berita Wacana? Mungkin nanti tidak bisa jawab. Bisa? Tidak nah, tahu apa itu. Itu sebenarnya pertanyaan-pertanyaan sangat mendasar. Dan itu itu kesenangan saya gitu bicara masalah itu. Dan ternyata itu menjadi minoritas. Saya itu minoritas dari minoritas. Oke? Okay? Ini, ini, ini menurut United Nations. 
tahun 2004 dokumennya judulnya adalah ini ada tiga isu utama isu kunci apa peran sebetulnya dari local knowledge lalu juga why and how should local be protected yang terakhir how can local knowledge be best harnessed for development and trade nah sekarang orang-orang itu juga ada datang jadi ini, ini memang gejala kita semakin lama dibawa kepada suatu konsep-konsep yang lebih dekat kepada materialisme unfortunately saya agak jauh gitu ya. jadi dulu pada waktu saya mulai terjun di dalam dunia pustakawan <tuh> saya sempat apa ya minder gitu loh kalau ketemu teman-teman saya dulu kuliah di sini karena ilmu yang pertama saya belajar di dalam fisika kok jadi pustakawan ya, tapi dalam usia itu saya sudah harus mulai membaca filsafat-filsafat eksistensialisme itu mulai dari Peter Bagadu, Irka sampai para Sartre dan sebagainya sehingga saya yakin nah di sini saya juga suka menyitir dari seorang filsuf perempuan kebetulan tanggal lahirnya sama dengan saya dia punya suatu kata-kata yang saya suka ayam ku ayam ini pertanyaan saya apa selanjutnya setelah anda pulang meninggalkan Yogyakarta ini setelah satu dua hari ini anda mau apa sebetulnya 